of uh, Scott Swazanski and Rosalie Umo. I think we should applaud in the beginning, too. I feel... I know people don't do that that often, but I'm excited just... I'm excited for the whole day. If you haven't... If you don't know the whole day, Rosalie's probably texted it to you. I think that's what she was doing when she came over. All you need to know is that the the, uh, the whole day ends up at Tekka, where Skip Umo buys us top-shelf drinks. So, um... <clears throat> that's where it ends up. Um, yeah... Um, I personally am honored, flattered, grateful for the opportunity to um, perform this uh, ceremony, and I'm grateful for your friendship and trust in this. It means a lot to me, and um, I'm excited to be here, as I'm sure you are, right? Yes. Okay, good. Um, I do. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> um, they're also excited, Scott and Rosalie are, of course, to have the Laverties at their side, who, um, I guess, played a hunch, and... Um, I guess was right. Um, and so we're here in this public park in this very comfortably warm day. <laughs> um, I know they're all so excited to uh, have their parents here, the Swazanskis and, and the U Miles, to have all the dads and, as Rosalie likes to say, all your moms. Um, um, they, they hope they have as much success as um, as Wazanskis and, and the U Miles um, to be great crafts craftsmen and craftspeople like the Zuzanskis, and to be able to um, dance as well as the U-Miles, which we'll, um, we'll find out later, later tonight. Um, Everhart Park, let's talk about where we are right now. Donated to the borough in 1905, it's 110 years later, donated for this purpose, which seems a, um, a, a great opportunity. That was weird, sorry. Um, so we're at the intersections of and I'm bad with this. Minor and Brandywine, Union and Bradford. And here comes this new street corner popularized in a recent uh, framed photograph of U Mile and Swazanski streets. Um, and it's appropriate to be in what is a beautiful shire because we are just blocks from their hobbit house. Um, and, um, and it's great today to be joining a professional cyclist and a professional teacher, because why should only athletes get to call themselves professional? <laughs> and um, you might think as you get older that, um, <laughs> that um, 
relationships aren't cute anymore, but this relationship has been really sincerely cute, and I say that not in the insignificant cute way, but in the fawning, devoted way that your friends and family have watched the two of you court one another and be with one another. It's just been, as Krista likes to say, dear. You know, it's been a very dear relationship that we've been witness to. Um, and um, it's not just cute, it's epic. They've traveled the world together. Um, they've gone from uh, mountain races to bar crawls. They've uh, gone from Sasquatch sightings to garden gnome collecting. Um, square bars to circuit loops. Stick with me here. Water bottles to Grateful Dead wine. And of course from spandex to wool sweater like dress things. <laughs> um, you, you guys are the tall and the short, which is great um, for any household because you need, someone needs to be able to reach things high on the shelf and somebody needs to be good in a crawl space. <laughs> and so I know your friends and family feel solid about the home that you'll create or you are creating. Um, so at this point, Scott and Rosalie would like to invite their friend, my bride, Jessica Parker Smith, to come up and read a poem by Eric Fried. So she's going to do that. All right. There you go, Jessica. Congratulations, you guys. Thank you so much. I love you, not only for what you are, but for what I am when I'm with you. I love you, not only for what you have made of yourself, but for what you are making of me. I love you for the part of me that you bring out. I love you for putting your hand into my heaped up heart and passing over all the foolish, weak things that you can't help dimly seeing there and for drawing out into the light. All the beautiful belongings that no one else had looked quite far enough to find. I love you because you are helping me to make of the lumber of my life, not a tavern, but a temple out of the works of my every day. Not a reproach, but a song. I love you because you have done more than any creed could have done and to make good and more than any fate could have done to make me happy. You have done it without a touch, without a word, without a sign. You have done it by being yourself. Perhaps that is what being a friend means after all. There's more. <laughs> so let's get married. I mean, you guys. Let's. Why, you should guys should get married now. Are you ready? Let's do this. Um, another uh, quote that Rosalie sent along was uh, a quote from George Eliot, uh, the writer. Um, and she reminds us, George Eliot, she, right, everybody? Um, that there is no greater thing for two human souls than to feel that they are joined together to strengthen each other in all labor to minister to each other in all sorrow, to share with each other in all gladness, to be one with each other in the silent, unspoken memories. And I think it was that idea that uh, we talked about, and there's so many silent, unspoken memories in a, in a marriage, and um, we're glad to be in this very public memory right now. Um, anyway, let's do this. Ready? Yes. Okay, good. Scott. Do you take Rosalie to be your wife, to live with her in marriage, to love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health as long as you both shall live? I do. Rosalie, do you take Scott to be your husband, to live with him in marriage, to love him, comfort him, honor him, and keep him in sickness and in health for as long as you both shall live? I do. Rosalie and Scott will exchange vows now. I will help them out. We wrote our own vows. And we don't know each other. <laughs> Rosalie, <clears throat> when we met and I fell in love with you, I knew I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. Ever since then, when I think about growing old with you, my heart flutters, races, and is absolutely full of love. Wherever we go in life or whatever we do, I will always be there for you, loving you. 
I will always treasure you and, res and respect you with everything I do forever. If you're tired, I will always be your pillow. When I win too many Scrabble games in a row, I will let you win one. <laughs> this is a lie. <laughs> when, we're, when we are riding down a rough road together, teammates on our bicycle bill for two, I will always help us find a smooth line. As long as I am with you, I will be happy. You're the best person I know and my best friend. So let's make lots of great memories together and get really, really old together. Scott, before we met three years ago, I walked through life thinking that I would never fall in love. I questioned if love or true love was even possible. Then you stepped in, or shall I say cycled in, forever changing my life. The butterfly started the moment you said you were smitten by me, and so began an adventure that has taken me to many places. The most important place it has taken me is home, because home is wherever you are and when you're with me. When you first said we were a team, I knew, th I knew then this is where I belonged, and any trouble I faced along the road would be nothing with you as my partner and teammate. I can truly express my love for you today and make my declaration to spend the rest of my life by your side. You are the kindest, most caring, thoughtful, selfless, and hardworking person I've ever known. I'm excited to ride away with you and enjoy many new adventures wherever they take us for the rest of our lives. Right by our side or seated on the back of a bicycle built for two. No, not yet. <laughs> Right, just making sure. It's the first time I've done this. I just want to, yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Here we go. Right. Sure. You should probably then. Okay. I know what's happening now. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> now this will be the rings part. This will involve Brett Laverty, um, who is holding the rings. It's a very important job. Um, uh, Scott and Rosalie will be exchanging rings. They are exchanging in case you'll likely check them out later. But matching um, koa, koa wood from Hawaii, right? Yes. Yeah, matching code. And also, um, Rosalie will be uh, given her grandmother's ring as well. So, you have two rings to do, Scott. Okay. Um, Can you remind us what we're supposed to say? <laughs> with this ring, um, it's, a sign of, it's a sign of love and commitment to you for the rest of my life. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> that works. And again. <laughs> <laughs> you can say, I give, I give you this ring. It's so simple. Oh, I say his you. name if you want. <laughs> um, I need the ring. <laughs> can you tell me again? <laughs> yes, you can, you can say his name. I know that part. Okay, I give you this ring as a symbol of love and commitment to you. Okay, I was listening to what you said. <laughs> um, <clears throat> may I have your hand, please? <laughs> With this ring... I, I give you this ring as a sign of my love and commitment to you, Scott. You're going to have to push that on there. Ah, there we go. Um, and now we're going to read a blessing, a Native American ceremony Apache uh, blessing. May the sun bring you energy by day. May the moon softly restore you by night. May the rain wash away your worries and the breeze blow new strength into your being. And all the days of your life may you walk gently through the world and know its beauty. Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be shelter for the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you, each of you will be warmth to the other. Now there will be no loneliness, for each of you will be companion to the other. Now you are two persons, but there is only one life before you. May beauty surround you both in the journey ahead and through all the years. May happiness be your companion and your days together be good and long upon the earth. Now, as an efficient of the Universal Life Church and a citizen of the great Quaker state of Pennsylvania, I hereby pronounce these two, husband and wife, you guys should kiss or something. <laughs> So put on your helmets, uh, share the road, and make way for uh, Scott and Rosalie Zubazanski. One more time. One more time. Yeah. Thank you.
Stay where you are for a minute. This might take a little bit. Check your text. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> square bar at three, quarter roll at four. Tech at seven. Let's know what the text said. Thanks for coming. Um, two o'clock AM, banana bar. All day. <laughs> 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 